Hey Sue, um, I wanted to show you some colors and brushes and bronzers that we were talking about for the editorial. I don't think we've discussed what foundation for you to use. I'll write you on that. Yeah, I just basically wanted to go over tones of colors of blushes for the editorial that won't look ridiculous on pictures and it won't make you look too corpsey. First I want to show you flush that I was talking about. This would be the perfect color for you and it looks like this and once it's on that will be the perfect color for you also okay there's like so much stuff I could tell you right now but I'm so sorry I can't be there to help you I wish I could do this for you but I'll try to go over it like this and maybe you can get some of these products for the editorial Okay, let me just, well, let me just go into the bronzers. One that you could get it that's from ELF is this one. This, is one. this one is really safe for you to use. It's actually the cool one. There's also another one. This is the warm one. Uh, I don't suggest this one. This one does not look good on photography. This one looks good on photos. Like I said, the cool one. Regular drugstore bronzers, they tend to oxidize a lot of them and they tend to turn orange or they turn darker during the day. And I don't know what lighting they will be using on you and stuff. Um, so there's not really a drugstore one that I can recommend. The only one that's inexpensive, like I said, would be the cool one. First place would be Bare Minerals Fa Tan. This works on every skin color. You could use this. The brush that I use, my favorite brush is for makeup forever, is this Kabuki. And the dirtier this gets, the easier it is to apply. Sounds kind of weird, but that's how it is. And what you do, you just tap up some of this into the lid, whatever sticks to the lid. Go in with the brush, work it really, really good into the brush. Start out at your cheekbones in circular motions and go th down to your jawbone cross your nose to the other side and then start working on the top of your hairline and well this is kind of stupid to explain like this I'd have to do a makeover on you to show you but I think I know I think you can see what I'm trying to say you do have to be careful with this one you can all this is really buildable but this is definitely a color that would work on you, especially for the photo. Okay, pressed one that would work is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, which is this one. And this one does run in the muddy family with hardly any orange in it, but this one also is very good for photography. For this type of pressed bronzers, I always use this type of brush. This happens to be from Sigma, the F20. And you can just basically just go right into it like this. And you can even tap some of it off. Also, again, go right to the cheekbone, work down the jawbone, across the nose, other cheekbone, down the jawline, and then last, across the hairline and forehead. This is also safe to use. Uh, you don't have to worry about this one looking weird on, on the pictures. And if you still feel uncomfortable, I don't know which brushes you have right now. Uh, like I said, this is one of my favorite ones. Or the SS150, also a really good one. I don't know uh, the new number on this one. This type of Kabuki, like the Mac or the Sigma one, if a kabuki is packed as tightly as this one, it will be harder for you to put it on. And to where this one is a bit looser, as you can see, it's not as tightly packed as this one. And, yeah. I was going to say, if you are uncomfortable using this, this is always an alternative. It's a stippling brush for any kind of product. Blush, bronzer, liquids powders, anything. If you are too heavy handed, always reach for this. You can never make a mistake with this. 
you just go right into the product you can hardly ever like get too much on here and since the way this brush is made you can never have it just blends it out really easy and you can always go over it like three or four times and build up the bronzer if you are uncomfortable using a regular brush the hardest brush to use would be this one I don't recommend this one for you you have to know how to use this otherwise it can look kind of ridiculous on the face I'm not sure if you told me if you do have any bronzers certain bronzers for photography that I don't recommend would be like for NARS Casino or Laguna these do not look good on pictures um, they tend if these are not applied right and they tend to look muggy, uh, muddy on the pictures and for photography these just don't work too good unless you have olive toned skin which you don't and this is also another one one of my favorite ones as you can see Bobby Brown this is also good for photography but it wouldn't be my first choice okay once you have applied the bronzer what I suggest for pictures use two different blushes and for your skin type if you do get flushed also use this type of color brick rusty it this is coming out a little lighter than it is in true color this is a Hera from sleek well you have really high defined cheekbones so what you do you just use this color all over completely over your complete cheekbone and just put on this color and this is also an amazing color for really fair skin if you're really really light skin this will look good on photography and it does look kind of weird here on the camera because it's cheap ass camera but um, so what you would do you would use this over the complete cheekbone of course light handed not as heavy as I am doing it and then defining just the top of your cheekbone you would use flushed just going right where you would like the apples you can either do this just the apples of your cheek and this is how it will look sort of I think you can see what I'm trying to say so once you have bronzed use Sahara use this either on the apples of your cheek or just on the top of your cheekbones this is the lightest color you can go you cannot go lighter than this for your skin tone otherwise it will be too peachy we've talked about this and it will look awful on you uh, since your skin is so light this is in the color Cheeky from MAC. This is actually a cream blush. It's also really good for photography, this color. You can also use a stippling brush for these. I'm just going to dig in here because I have to wash this anyway. This would be Cheeky. And you just dab in here once, go in circular motions and like I said with a stippling brush like this you cannot make any mistakes um, the reason I'm showing you this color is because yeah, like I said this is the lightest you can go for your skin tone do not go lighter than this another good color this is from NYX is in Diva as you can see these two go hand in hand same color family also extremely good for photography this color um, this would also work for your skin tone a color that would be way too light that I was trying to explain to you when I wrote you this is from NARS Orgasm this is exactly the color I was trying to tell you not to use I mean it's nice of course I, I love Orgasm but it's just not something for you to be using especially on camera it will make you look dead it just doesn't look fresh and if you're really uncomfortable with a color Sahara like this for an all over cheek blush you can also use something like this this is also from sleek the face contour kit I really like this and you also have a highlighter that you can use uh, you would use this all over use the flush 
apples again or the top of your cheekbones and then all then of course again on the top of the cheekbones you would use the highlighter this is a really nice highlighter also really good for photography and this color would suit you also and this is in the color 884 light that's the color that would suit this you. This is my first choice, like I, t like I wrote you, would be flushed for the pictures. Now depending on what eyeshadow you use, you could even use a color like this. This is Scandalicious. And this is from NARS, Exhibit A. You could also use colors like this, but then we'd have to talk about the eyeshadow that you're going to be using. This is actually considered a basic color. Any eyeshadow can be used with this. To wear uh, like Exhibit A or Scandalicious, you have to be careful what eyeshadows you're going to be using. Yeah, so I hope this was some help to you, Sue. Wish I was there to help you out. Like I say, either get the e.l.f. This is really good. This would work for you. The Too Faced would be um, first or second choice uh, well this would be first choice the bare minerals fall tan or the two faced uh, chocolate is soleil don't be afraid just don't put too much at first you can always build up maybe go three swirls in here and like I said cheekbone go down to your jawline back up over the nose other side cheekbone down the jawline and then last forehead you will see the difference yeah so that's about it Sue I hope this was some help let me know uh, if you have any other questions I will be writing you about foundations you can use especially some powder foundations that'll work for the editorial and yeah so I'll talk to you later bye